Alright, in this video I'm going to show how to convert from logarithmic form to exponential form. Um, this is going to be a technique that's going to be very useful when we start uh, solving logarithmic equations. So, um, this is based on the fact that uh, if uh, log of y base b is equal to x, um, then what this thing is telling us is that uh, b to the power of x is equal to y. Okay, so um, we can uh, write that mathematically as follows. So log y base b equal to x implies that b to the power of x is equal to y. Um, this is called the exponential form uh, of uh, what we have on the left hand side. So uh, this one is uh, the logarithmic form. Um, and then the same equation, we can write it uh, as a b to the power x is equal to y and uh, that one is called the exponential form so if you like these two are the two sides of the same coin they are saying exactly the same thing uh, this side was saying it uh, in exponential form this side we are saying it using the logarithmic uh, terms all right, so um, in this video, we're going to show uh, how given uh, an equation in logarithmic form, you can convert it to exponential form. So let's look at a few examples. All right, so here are some examples that we are going to work through. Uh, so in all cases, we're going to be converting from the given equation which is in logarithmic form and we're going to be converting to exponential form uh, in a we have got log 16 base 2 is equal to 4 so in this case the base is 2 so we are going to say 2 to the power of 4 and that must give us 16 which of course is uh, true um, uh, and then in part b i've got log x base 5 is n so got uh, log x base 5 is equal to n so the base is 5 the exponent is n and so this is going to be equal to x so we've got 5 to the power n is equal to x. Uh, in part c, we've got log 1 half of log n base 7 is equal to x minus 3. Um, so 1 half log n base 7 is equal to x minus 3. Now, in this case, the logarithm uh, has got another term accompanying it uh, as it were. So whenever this happens, the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to first isolate the logarithm term. So first isolate uh, the log then we can do what we have been doing all along. So this time to clear uh, the, the, the one half on the uh, right hand side, uh, on the left hand side, we can multiply everything by, by two. So we've got one and a half log n base seven uh, is equal to x minus 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply everything by 2. Um, so when we do that, uh, 2 times here, 
and then two times okay then on the left hand side we're just going to have log n base 7 which is uh, what we um, wanted so the log has been isolated on the right hand side we're going to have 2x minus 6 now we can do what we've been doing before so we're going to say well the base is 7 so 7 raised to this power must give us that 7 to the power 2x minus 6 is equal to n okay um, and then in D we have got a similar situation so in D we have got 1 plus log um, a base 2 is equal to n so this time we are first going to take this one to the right hand side so the one on this left hand side is uh, um, adding so if we take it to the other side it's going to be subtracting so we're going to have n minus 1 uh, is equal to log a base 2 and then in exponential form this is going to be 2 to the power n minus 1 is equal to a all right um so let's just give you the last two have a go at these last two uh if you want to press pause then have a go at those two then uh, you can compare with our answer when you continue the video all right okay uh, so let's work out uh, e now uh, together so in e we have got uh, log uh, x base 3 is equal to n so log x base 3 is equal to n so this time the base is 3 the power or the exponent we already say that the log is equal to the exponent is n so n this must be equal to x okay um, then for f we've got uh, 2 minus log a uh, i believe it's base 3 again it's actually log p um, so log p base 3 is equal to m now this time we need to first isolate the log um, since the log has got a minus on it um, the thing we're going to do is to take the log to the right hand side then it's going to be a positive term and then we're going to take the m to the other side okay so this term is minus this side we take it to the right hand side it becomes positive then this m if we take it to this side it becomes negative so now um if i just uh, rearrange swap sides um so we now have base is three this is going to be our exponent two minus m and that is going to be equal to p right so that brings us to the end of uh, this video thank you for watching uh, hopefully it has been helpful please do not forget to subscribe in the next video i'm going to show you how to go in the reverse direction now so we're going to be going from exponential form back to logarithmic form. Thank you.